All right, so today I want to give you an update on a really interesting snake that I hatched out about four weeks ago. And if you actually look back at that egg cutting video, I actually cut open an egg and I thought I actually hit a blue-eyed leucistic. It was a completely white snake, which was pretty much impossible from the pairing. As a matter of fact, on that one, I actually crossed a bamboo calico with a lemon blast, which is a pastel pinstripe. So there's really no two genes in there that'll come together to give you an all-white snake. And I was just kind of blown away. It's like, what? in the world is this white snake in this egg that we kind of cut open and peeked into and today I wanted to show you that snake that has come completely out of the egg as a matter of fact it's been about four weeks since that snake's been out it ate about four times now so it'll be kind of interesting to take a look at it and let me tell you it is not a blue eyed cystic but I do think there is something interesting going on with the snake so what I want to do is I want to show you this snake and then I want to show you some other snakes the individual genes and how they come together to form different combinations and then some of the interesting things that's going on with this class I actually think there's something else like an extra gene that's kind of hidden in this snake which you know a lot of times you <laughs> they can kind of drive you crazy all these kind of random hidden jeans floating through your collection sometimes you just never know what you're gonna get so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that snake out and take a closer look at it and then we'll look at some of the other individual genes that make up that ball python all right so take a look at this this is the white snake that we hatched out and kind of the weird thing about this is it was completely white when we hatched it out and it's completely transformed into a different looking snake just in the last few weeks which is pretty amazing. It was weird when it hatched out, it was like completely white and it got more and more color as it aged and it seems like it's brightening up more and more, which is pretty unusual. So I'm, I'm assuming that this one contains all the genes in that pairing, the bamboo calico pastel pinstripe. So the bamboo is definitely really dominant. You can definitely tell there's bamboo in there. And then the calico brings the white up on the sides and then the pastel and the pinstripe, you can definitely tell the, the, the pinstripes in there. And then the, the pastel with the pinstripe, usually you can tell, even with multi-gene combinations, if you have pastel in with the pinstripe, that the pastel is in there. Sometimes the pastel can get kind of washed out. But with the pinstripe, it'll really shatter the pattern on the pinstripe like this, which is pretty amazing. Look at the tail, how, how like speckled the tail is. That is pretty a pretty cool tail. I've never really seen anything like it. And the weird thing is, is I actually produced another one like this. And I, I was actually raising up, I produced one last year with all the genes, the, the same exact genes. And the weird thing about when you mix the bamboo with the calico, usually they start out as looking just like bamboo and then the age of, as the age of mature the calico comes in more and more and this one is like completely opposite where it started out completely white and as it's slowly aging it seems like it's bringing in the the bamboo and all the other genes which is completely opposite from what I thought with, with the other one so the, I think there's something else going on here the other thing that's kind of interesting too is it almost seems like it has like some paradoxing or something on the side you can kind of see Almost like it's almost like it's missing scales or something on the side. It's kind of weird if you can actually pick that up on the camera. Like right in here, there's like some checkering, which is really interesting. Kind of an interesting looking snake. And the belly's clear. And the head is really cute on this guy. Really kind of a different looking snake. Different than I would have expected with all those. And to completely start out completely white was, was pretty wild. So what I want to do first is I want to show you the other one that I produced that had all the genes. I assume both of these have all the genes. I think this one has an extra gene flowing around. As a matter of fact, there was another one in the same clutch is this one that I'll show you that one that I think there's something else kind of floating around in there too. So I'm definitely going to hold this one back. I'm going to hold the other one back too just to kind of play around, see if I can tease out the extra genes on these guys. But it's a really interesting, I can't believe how much it's changed. If you look back at that video, it was pretty amazing. Looking at that, as a matter of fact, the head was even white. We were looking at that white head and it almost looked like it had blue eyes. And on this one, I, don't, I can't tell if it has blue eyes. It almost looks like it does have kind of bluish eyes on this one, which is pretty wild. That is a really awesome looking snake. 
All right, so take a look at this beauty. This is the same exact snake that I produced last year doing a similar breeding. So I took my bamboo calico and I bred it to a lemon blast and produced this one. Kind of the weird thing with this one is it started out looking like uh, it didn't have hardly any white along the side. And it's pretty typical when you mix the bamboo with the calico that they start out with hardly any white. And then as they age, a lot of the white comes in on the side, which is pretty wild. I can't believe how different these two snakes are from one to the other. That's kind of what makes me think that the other one has something else in there. And the other thing about this is if you actually take a closer look at it, it almost has like this gray line right through the side of the snake that's kind of interesting with all four genes. I thought I'd get a similar kind of appearance with kind of this gray line. It's almost like a steel gray right down the middle of the snake. And look up here, it's like, it's not, let me tell you, this was not a white snake at all when we looked in the egg on this one. It's pretty wild, the difference between these two. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you a hatchling bamboo and a hatchling calico. And then I wanna show you how they come together as a hatchling, what I would typically expect from a hatchling where you see the two genes come together. All right, so here's a couple different snakes. So this one here is a bamboo. Yes, I still have a bamboo floating around in my collection. I know everybody's been wanting bamboos. This one will eventually be for sale. This one's been really picky. All the snakes around this bamboo have actually had uh, six meals, and this guy's like stuck on three, still stuck on live mice. I've never had a bamboo that was like lagging behind all the other ones, so this is just a straight bamboo. And then this is what my version of calico looks like. And my version of calico is a little bit different than other people's. This calico is almost, it almost has like a, like a, a, like a coppery color to it. And it's not a really high white calico. This guy was kind of snapping at me when I pulled him out. He was, he was, he was wanting a rodent. I know that's what he wanted. This is from an earlier clutch. So uh, he's a little bit bigger than this bamboo, but look at the, look at the kind of the, just a little bit of white coming in on the side. It, it gives it almost like a, almost like a color, like a copper penny or something that you see on a lot of these, uh, this version of calico. I've actually seen some calicos that are really high white. Some of them are really bright yellow. It just depends on your version of calico. And this just happens to be mine. So let me show you when you actually take the calico and mix it together with the bamboo. I actually have a bamboo calico hatchling here in my collection. Let me show you what that looks like. So take a look at this. This is actually a bamboo calico with both genes. Matter of fact, this one's kind of going into shed, so it's a little bit harder to actually see what's going on with this one. But you can definitely tell on the sides. As a matter of fact, this one has quite a bit of that kind of the gray, almost like a steel gray color that you'd see on the side of that one, just in, in kind of a little strip. Of course, this guy's really going into shed. And they usually start out where there's not a lot of white on the side of these bamboo calicos. So they can kind of deceive you when they're hatchlings. You think, well, that's not really impressive. And I always tell these, tell people, just wait until that snake gets bigger because it's amazing the difference between a hatchling and an adult bamboo calico uh, when they age and mature and they get a lot brighter in the side. So what I want to show you next is I want to show you an adult. I actually have an adult. One of these, that's, that's probably my favorite combination. It doesn't really look that impressive. As a matter of fact, it's almost hard to tell there's calico in this one unless you put it side by side with a regular bamboo and compare the two. Then you can definitely tell. And it's a little bit harder on this one. I think this is the only bamboo calico hatchling I have here in my collection. And unfortunately, it's in shed a little bit, so you really can't get the true effect. But that's kind of what it looks like with not a whole lot of high white on the side. But let me show you what an adult looks like. You're going to really be surprised over the difference. All right, so take a look at this beauty. This is just the bamboo and the calico. Look what a difference. Look at the white coming through. It's pretty amazing. You can still see with the bamboo and the calico, you kind of have this steel gray line coming through, which is pretty common with your bamboos and your calicos. And it really, it seems like the older it gets, the more this white gets brighter and brighter and just more and more intense 
which is pretty interesting. So if you actually take a look at pretty much all the bamboo calicos that I've produced here in my collection, they all start as uh, pretty much like a bamboo colored snake and then eventually they turn white. So that one was kind of interesting that it started out as white and later on now, just a few weeks later, it's starting to bring in the color of the bamboo and everything else that's in the mix. So it's, I think it's completely different than the other ones. The, the other thing I wanted to show you is I have another uh, hatchling from that same clutch, which is pretty interesting too. It's actually a lemon blast with the pastel and the pinstripes. First I want to show you a pastel and a pinstripe, then I want to show you a lemon blast, and then I want to show you that one. That one's actually a lemon blast calico. Really interesting snake. All right, so I have a couple snakes here. I wanted to show you the individual genes in case you haven't seen the pastel or the pinstripe before. So this is actually a pinstripe. This is one of my favorite genes. Pretty much the only gene that's like a bright gold snake. Take a look at that. This one happens to be 100% had desert ghost. One of the one of the later hatchlings that just hatched out has eaten, uh, I think it's up to like three live mouse hoppers already. Still need to get it over to like a frozen thawed mouse is what I'm gonna try next. Get this one kind of transitioned over, but absolutely love these these uh, pinstripes. And the pinstripe goes really good with the pastel. So this is what a pastel looks like. And the pastel really brings in a lot of yellow color in the snake. And a lot of times your pastels will actually have green eyes. Although I found it's not always the case. Some of them have like super bright green eyes. It seems like if you actually take the pastel and mix it with spider, it really brings out the almost the, 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 the kind of like an emerald green, like a bright green eye which is pretty wild. This one's not that green. And this one happens to be 100% Het Clown. So usually the Het Clowns will bring out a lot more of the yellow in the pastels too. But if you actually mix these two together, they go really well and they call that a Lemon Blast, the combination of the pastel and the pinstripe. So let me show you what a Lemon Blast is supposed to look like with the combination of these two genes. All right, so take a look at this. This is a lemon blast with the combination of the pastel and the pinstripe. Look at it. Look at what a difference it makes when you mix pastel in with pinstripe. Quite a big difference. You can definitely tell. Uh, a lot of times with, with certain combinations, you really can't tell if you have pastel in there. But if you mix it with pinstripe, you can almost always tell because it really shatters the pattern. It gets it completely away from the pinstripe pattern where it'll com completely kind of break up the, the pinstripe striping right down the back of the snake. So this one, as a matter of fact, this one's also possible Enchi. A lot of times Enchi will bring out some of the brighter color. I'm almost leaning towards maybe this one is Enchi just because it's a little bit brighter. And a lot of times the Enchi will give you kind of these bands on the side. Not too much difference than you'd see just in a regular lemon blast though. Lemon blasts are pretty awesome. So the next thing I want to show you is from that same clutch from that first white snake and what it actually is it's the same exact snake with the pastel and the pinstripe but it has the calico in the mix too and I've never actually produced a lemon blast calico but uh, the, I think it's there might be something a little bit different in that one because it doesn't look like what I expected. It's a pretty wild looking snake. That's the last one I want to show you. It's, it's in the same clutch. I think there might be something in that snake too kind of floating around. So let me show you that snake. It's pretty awesome. All right, so take a look at this crazy snake. <laughs> when I had this one out, it just kind of blew my mind. I could not believe this thing. I don't know, maybe this is what they're supposed to look like, but <laughs> it just kind of blew me away. You can definitely see the pastel and the pinstripe really jumbled up. And then the, the calico, look what the calico is doing to this. Really bringing up some white. I'm sure this will really increase the brightness of the white as it ages and matures. Seems like these calicos really change is the age which is pretty wild but take a look at that that's that's definitely going to be one of my holdbacks just because it looks really cool that is a really neat looking snake and one i've never seen before it's pretty awesome this one almost seems like it has kind of green eyes and usually on your lemon blast the bellies are clear with the pastel and the pinstripe it's pretty like a pretty much like a dominant clear belly anything mixed in with the pastel and the pinstripe but that is i don't know there could be something i don't know if i've actually seen one of these before that looks quite like this i'm almost thinking there could be something in this snake and there could be something in there with that other white snake 
that is completely changing into uh, kind of the bamboo calico pastel pinstripe combination which I've never seen them start out as white before which is pretty wild. This is a really neat looking snake. This guy's name is Slim. Pretty awesome snake. Alright guys, well, hope you enjoyed all these different snakes and kind of the cool stuff that I've been working on this year. Some of the interesting combinations and amazing snakes. So thanks for watching, thanks for coming along, and I will see you in the next video.